good time gaming. What's up guys, Saxon Good Time Gaming, and today I'm bringing you guys a little bit of information slash PSA type video. Um, I've been on the Payday 2 forums here recently and I found this cool new website that's been kind of promoted a little bit on there. It's currently stickied in the um, top of it. Uh, the site in question is called Payday 2 Weapons, pd2weapons.com. Um, it's a really, really cool website. It's basically um, like Payday 2 skills, except it's like actually updated. And um, it has a few of the little things in there that I think are really helpful as far as like being able to look at a build and seeing what you're able to do with it. Not to rag on Payday 2 skills. It's been in the community for a long time. They've done a lot of great work, but it's just not up to date in some um, aspects. So I'm gonna go through this real quick, kind of show this um, site off to you guys. And yeah, hopefully you will like this. I'm definitely gonna be using this site from now on as far as my own build links go. Um, I'm probably not gonna go back and redo but the ones I'm already done, but for anyone's going forward, um, I'm probably gonna be doing that. So I'll start by looking here at the skills. Um, one thing I've noticed here that I don't necessarily like so much is that there's not an option to turn off infamy. So if you look here, it says uh, like for hostage takers, 16 points to unlock tier four. Um, that should actually be 18 points, but it takes, um, it already assumes you have infamy. So that's not a good thing as far as I'm concerned. Cause a lot of players don't. And um, I've done a couple builds where I had to um, kind of gear it towards people not having infamy. So it would be nice to be able to turn that on or off, but I didn't actually see anything in website that allowed me to do that. So that'd be kind of like one critique I would have. But you can see every skill is listed here in all four little trees. You just kind of go through and take whatever it is you're going to take. All right, so you guys can see here that I have finished um, my build. This is a enforcer slash ghost build, so I've kind of put the points where I need to put them. Um, now that I have my skills set up in there, I can go over into the perks and I can select one here. Um, it lists all the full stats of everything, which is really nice. Um, like if you look over here at a crew chief, if I select crew chief, then you'll see over here on the right side of this panel, it actually tells me what bonuses I'm getting from that, which is really awesome. Um, I really like that a lot, actually. It's one of my favorite uh, parts of this. And so you see here, it has like a little heart. Um, see this one here, like the empty heart applies to you only, the full heart applies to your crew only, and then both hearts applies to you and your crew. So by looking at that, I can see that um, the 8% damage reduction applies to me and my crew. The 16% is only for me. The 50 plus stamina is for my crew only. Shout distance is me only, health is me only, armor is me only. And then the uh, max health and stamina for up to 10 hostages is me and the crew. And then 8% damage reduction is also um, for me and the crew. So really, really cool. I really like this a lot. Um, it kind of gives you an, a really nice overview of what bonuses you're picking up if you go ahead and decide to pick up one of the perk decks. I like that a lot. You see muscles kind of the same way here. 80% health, 3% health regen. 15% um, chance to be targeted, and then firearms have a chance to spread panic. Um, for this build, we're actually going to be using Anarchist. And so you see here it has the um, stats listed here for Anarchist. 50% of health converts to 120% armor. 10 armor regen, I'm dealing damage. And then 2 second immunity on armor depletion. Another thing that would be kind of nice is if it would actually tell you what the um, armor regen is per armor. So I'm not sure if it actually does it. Let me double check. I think I've already selected my armor. Let me see if it does that. I don't think it does. If it did, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, it doesn't. Because obviously, um, each armor has its own different um, rate of regeneration, like the amount that you get back. Um, so it doesn't actually tell you that. But that'd be kind of cool if they put that in there. So maybe that's something for them to do. It's also in beta, technically, this um, website. So something to work on. Now, something you guys always ask about is uh, weapons. And something that's really nice about this is that it makes it nice and easy to look through your weapons and to go ahead and um, pick out what you need to work on here. So you see, I can look through here and I'm just like the breaker 12 gauge. It opens up a nice little thing on the right here. See, so you have like blueprints, it'll tell you the stats on them, shots to kill, which is nice, but you can also uh, bring that back up. So it says 47 shots to kill the biker boss, uh, winter's 13, 15 for a bulldozer. Just tells you um, everything you need to know about it. If you want to customize it, you just have to select it and then go up here to the, the blue button customize, and it will let you go ahead and pick out whatever you need to for it, which is pretty awesome. One of the things that you guys always ask about is, um, you know, if I can do weapons with like the build on them and what I use, um, and that's something that's very easy to do with this one here. So let's see, make sure I'm taking everything correctly here. Uh, no, it's not. Sh it's silent killer suppressor. Yeah, because we want accuracy. And I think that's everything. Compact laser. Yeah, I think that's everything there. 
All right, so now that I'm done, I'll just hit the red X the top right, and then collapse that back up. And now you see that weapon stats have been altered. So you can see what that looks like there. Now, of course, we need to have a secondary weapon, so I'm gonna go over here and find the Judge shotgun, which I use on this build. Judge, I can't do... Right, where's the Judge? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. Let's go shotgun. All right, cool. The Judge shotgun, so it's under the, is how it's listed. We're gonna customize this bad boy. And let's see, and I always take HE rounds on this with a concealment booster. So HE round, and then, let's see, we need a silent killer, and we need laser module. Which I can't remember what that's called off the top of my head. Compact laser? Yeah, that's what we need right there. All right, cool. So now that one is also set. So we now have the Judge Shotgun there, and then we have over in the primary, the Breaker 12 gauge. So if you're looking at this build, you would know exactly what weapons I'm using and what my um, equip stats are on them. And then, I know the Brass Knuckles are technically better than the Buzzer, but the Buzzer is just so much fun. I like it better. It makes that nice uh, charge up sound, I like that. And I use Molotovs always. So cool. So you would now know what I use for my melee, for my secondary, and for my primary as well as my armor, and then the deployable, we're bringing doctor bags. And so I'll go back through here and double check everything, make sure everything looks good. Um, everything is in place where it's supposed to be. All our T's are crossed, our I's are dotted, and then I go over here to save and share. And you can actually download a copy of it, which is kind of cool, um, or you just save it. So I'm just gonna call it, um, Hey Man. That's the name we're going with, Hey Man. And then we can share it. And now we have a nice little link that I can distribute to whoever to come and check this one and build out. You can see I'm also logged in in Steam up here on the top right. So this will allow it to, um, I'm pretty sure I like track my builds. So like that build I saved, it'll always be there. But also it allows you to look for crews. So if you need people to play with or you want some friends to play with, you can actually come in here and there are people that have um, listed themselves as wanting to be an active crew and to like have people to play with basically. And you can find or start one so you can go by like infamy ranks, uh, level, hours played. So I want to have somebody's like over a thousand hours. Let's see if there's any people like that. Um, is this guy really a thousand hours? There's no way. He does have a thousand hours. Okay. Wow. I guess the infamy is just messed up on his because he only has first infamy rank. That's weird. But yeah, you can sort by all kinds of different, um, Things. There's not a whole lot of people on here right now, so don't expect like a huge number of um, people that you can kind of play with. And honestly, it's probably not something that most people will use anyways, but it's a nice feature, and it makes it really easy to find people. Like if I wanted to add um, Zero Hoots here, I can see that Zero Hoots is currently online. I just click on his name right there, and then I'm now at Zero Hoots' um, same uh, profile. Does not accept random ads, so I can't add him. It's a sad day for me. I can't be Zero Hoots' friend. Maybe I could join his fan club. I could join that and get to know him. I don't know. Probably not. So yeah, it's a pretty cool um, pretty cool website. So yeah, I hope that you guys um, found this informative. I hope you guys use this website. It looks really good. And I hope it stays around for a while. Like I said, I'll definitely be using it from here on out to kind of put together my own um, build videos. So be on the lookout for that, guys. But let me know what you guys think of Payday 2 weapons. If you use it, if you think it's pretty sweet, um, I'd like to know what you guys think. But I'll see you guys in the next Payday 2 video. And FYI, if you have not yet um, given me questions for my Q&A that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to do that probably tomorrow, uh, which is Monday the 1st. So get that in today quickly, and then I'll make sure to answer that question. Cool? All right, I'll see you guys soon. This is Saxon of Good Time Gaming. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share if you like anything you saw today. Remember to always have a good time gaming.